tumor metastasis is the endpoint of cancer and most cancer deaths are the result of metastasis. So really it's the business end of the cancer and if you're trying to make an impact, a curative impact or keeping people alive longer with cancer, you certainly want to understand metastatic disease and find ways to combat the metastases that are already present. Well we tried to make this meeting a little different from some of the other metastasis meetings um, because we're going to have a particular focus not just on the metastatic tumor cells but their surround, surrounding environment and this is what's called the tumor microenvironment and in that there are many many cells which modulate the aggressiveness of uh, cancers both positively and negatively but generally they're in enhancing metastatic disease and therefore important for the clinical outcomes. Perhaps the most exciting area is the uh, involvement of the immune system in metastasis. So it's become apparent that many immune cells are recruited to the tumors and generally they're, they're pushed into a state that they enhance uh, tumor progression. What's happened in the last few years is that we've understood how to block some of those enhancing functions uh, and in fact turn the immune system so it becomes uh, so it starts to at attack the, the cancers. Another exciting area that, that is coming to the fore is the ability to detect and predict the course of metastatic disease through circulating tumor cells or circulating DNA. So we have a session devoted to these new breakthroughs in how you can tell who may have metastatic disease, whether it's come back, what the outcome is going to be based on just taking serum samples? Well, I think that we will be at the state of the art for the area, uh, but particularly we've also tried to uh, have people speaking who are just out of their postdoctoral positions and now junior faculty who've done exciting work and are going to be presenting this. So I think this will help junior graduate students and postdocs to have aspiration of how to, uh, their careers will evolve and indeed that there is a future after the postdoctoral period. <laughs> we've, made, we've made a strong effort to bring in speakers that haven't spoken at this meeting before, who bring a new perspective and are not just the usual suspects. I'd just like to say that this meeting takes a completely holistic approach to the process of metastasis. You can get an overview of the entire process from the beginning of the metastatic cells as they evolve in the primary site to how they get to lymph nodes, how they get to the secondary site, um, to how dormancy takes place, to how the microenvironment influences, how the primary tumor affects the microenvironment. You get the whole picture by attending this meeting of what's happening in metastasis research today. <laughs>